Oh, hi. Hey, everyone. Uh, this is Ed DaCosta of edacosta.com, and this is my weekly coaching video for Wednesday, May the 7th, 2014. The subject I'd like to talk to you today about is be a fan, not a fanatic. Now, what am I talking about? I just, this past Saturday, had a wonderful afternoon at the ballpark uh, watching my beloved Boston Red Sox play, and I was there with two people I love very much, my parents. And we had a, a lot of conversations about a lot of things over the four hours that we were there, and one of them was the difference between a fan and a fanatic. Now, most of you know the word fan, sports fan, is actually short for fanatic. Fanatic, that's where the word comes from. So what is a fan? A fan is someone who follows, who loves, who associates, who enjoys a particular uh, sporting team, like for me, the Boston Red Sox baseball team. What is a fanatic though? A fanatic is someone who has excessive zeal and uncritical attachment to. I mean, that's the textbook definition. It's irrational. It's excessive. It's over the top. It has become bigger than it should be. Bigger than many certainly would say that it ought to be. And there is a big difference between a fan and a fanatic. And I would just, I mean, again, just caution any one of you to do a check to see where you are on that line. Many of you are probably like, no, no, I'm fine with sports. I like them but I'm not overwhelmed by them. And that's a very healthy attitude because truthfully, uh, it is a source of entertainment. This is not associated with my, with my youth, even though emotionally, for many of us, it is. It, this is a company. It's simply, it's a company just like IBM or Microsoft or Merck or any other corporation. It simply happens to have the name of a city that you love, or maybe a player, an individual that you admire, respect uh, on it, and therefore you are attracted to it, you follow it. So, as a fan, what do we do? We derive enjoyment from watching, listening, following, attending games, and just enjoying, just relaxing and viewing this as a healthy part of our life, right? All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. It's an important element of our balanced wheel of life is to, to get out there into the world and enjoy it. And I'm not suggesting that the only way or the primary way to enjoy life is to go to, to games. But for many, myself included, it is a part of my fun. I absolutely love uh, doing that. But it's not at least to me, it's not excessive. Why? Because I've compartmentalized it and I recognize that, you know, none of the members of the Boston Red Sox are from Boston. I don't know any of them. Certainly none of them know me. They are employees of corporations. Now, in the moment, I'm a fan and I will jump up and down and act somewhat silly. Some of you might have seen videos of me acting silly during uh, the Stanley Cup playoffs a few years ago where my daughter secretly a video came to me while watching uh, a playoff game uh, with uh, the Boston Bruins, and I did jump up and down. I did scream. I did, not in anger, but in joy when they scored. I did kiss my dog, um, and my daughter found that just incredibly uh, funny, and so did a number of people uh, as my, uh, that saw it on Facebook. So, but despite that, I don't consider myself a fanatic. Why? Because the very next day I'm up and I'm working and I'm not going to allow whether they won or whether they lost to really have a meaningful impact on my life. I've got it in a compartment. It works for me as a source of enjoyment, as a source of fun and relaxation. And that's the purpose that it serves. So I hope you found this helpful. There is a difference between being a fan and being a fanatic. Again, my name is Ed DaCosta of eddacosta.com. Wherever you are in this great, big, beautiful world, go Red Sox. Make it a great day.